<laughs> good morning, Roxy Soxy. <gasps> good morning, Tam Tam. I have been sleeping in your guest room. You have. I it's have. true. The news. And you know what was under my pillow this morning? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> your black ass G string. Your black G string <laughs> was under my pillow. I have so many questions. And is it clean? Okay. Like, seriously. Let me, is it? Let me answer your questions. It's a nice thing that we do when people come and stay at our house. <laughs> right. I just slip a little G string under the yeah. pillow. It is it's, so hospitable. I was just like, I is, feel right? right at home. Although I would never wear something riding on my butthole. Like, it's not comfortable. <laughs> that one is comfortable, though. It isn't. It's like a light, netty, fi- like, It's not. Material. I tried it on. <laughs> and I thought, this is not my vibe. Oh, remind me to wash it now. Okay. <laughs> so why was it there? <clears throat> well, I told you I wanted to give you a little treat. And, you know. <laughs> why was it there? <laughs> I actually don't fucking know. I have no okay. fucking idea. Okay. So, yeah. So I'm going to ask David <laughs> okay. if it's his. Okay. It okay. might be. You never know. Anyway. We get crazy at our Anyway. House. But how has your stay been at Casa Manning? It's actually been-, been pretty amazing. Like, I did not bring – there's no bed bugs. Okay. As far Thank as I you. know. Thank you. Which – is how ha- there's a lot of bed bugs right now in Paris. There sure are. And we'll there talk sure to our next guests about this because they just went, they probably bring bed bugs right here in the studio. <laughs> so we're going to like- just like <laughs> bed bugs are crawling over their bodies. <laughs> we're going we to need to back up. We need to back up a little bit. <laughs> yes. We will. Yeah. Have you ever had a bed bug? I have not. It's <laughs> not something not. I aspire to either. So yeah. just hearing the stories is good enough for me. I have. You have to I go went to an her. Airbnb and I woke up with like bites all over my stomach. Oh, it was disgusting. Wow. Oh, yeah. wow. And did you have to like sterilize all your clothes? No, and do I the just pol- was like, fuck it. <laughs> it like, I'm like, on itch. I was I'm like, itch. at some point, they'll die. <laughs> Like, right? Right? I mean, they can only suck so much blood, right? I know. It's, it's, it's just, it just is. But I want to talk to our next guest about yes. traveling because I know that they just got back on that baby moon. Oh, it's so good. They're in this stage too where it's like, oh, it's just a beautiful stage. Beautiful. They're holding hands. I, I mean, know, they love. fucking like each other. I they're mean, like, let that baby kick. Yeah, they're just like, oh And they God. have the baby and they'll just be like, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's never going to happen. You guys are going to no, love each other We're forever. the exception. Yes. For some yes. odd reason. Yes. This just it's, won't happen to us. It's so true. Roxy Sucksy, who do we have on today? Well, we are so excited to welcome back our guest, Manon Matthews, and she has brought her baby daddy, Johnny Carlson, Yo, this time. That's such a great name. I know. Both we're so excited. Yeah. They're comedians. Comedians, comedians and content and creators, and podcasters, and, and podcasters, hilarious. and hyphenists, and hyphenists. And they've and gotten like a bajillion followers on like every social media I think she's media had like platform. a billion views or something. Oh my God. She needs to give she us all She doesn't know that secrets. like we have two listeners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say hi to them? It's Jack and Jenny in Indiana. Just say yeah. hi. Just say hi. Hey, Jack, Jack and Jenny. Jack and Jenny. So without further ado, let's welcome Manon and Johnny. Hey. Hey guys, how are you right. feeling? Uh, yes, gorgeous. Yeah, show yeah. that glow. Show how are that you glow. Feeling me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. you're the pregnant one. I'm feeling with the pregnancy. I'm just here, right? The guy that got no, her pregnant. You the, the have loving... the most important role uh, to getting her pregnant. You had That's... those ten minutes. Solid. <laughs> yeah. Ten. I was going to say, wow. He he has, he has, he has really you. long orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> just a 10 minute It just lasts orgasm. for 10 minutes every crazy. time. I'm one of the only men to have 10 minute orgasms. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's, I feel that's actually too hot for me right yeah, now. Yeah, that's I a lot. Let's just, just, just relax. moaning for 10 minutes. Like, ah. <laughs> Uncontrollably. <laughs> well, you know, like when, oh my God, I'm not going to talk about this. Yeah, you, <laughs> are. Oh, yeah. you are. You are. This is the show. Are we talking about the moment of conception? Oh, we Give remember. It to us. The we moment remember of everything. conception, uh-huh. we'll just get straight into it. Okay. Johnny <laughs> saw a blue lightning bolt I did. shoot through his vision. Wow. He was having sex. Right, right. as it was right after, with you. Right as it was. was I think it was with me. It was with you. It was with, with me. Okay. Yeah, it was, was. You saw God. <gasps> I saw a blue lightning bolt and we had a beautiful experience. And yeah, because it was our first time not <laughs> avoiding it. Yeah. Oh, yes. The first wow. time. Wow. We had just decided. Like the goalie yes. to go swim. Be so green. we weren't planning. Like we were. Yes. We were planning. We were planning on planning getting on. pregnant. Okay. But we also thought we had months because okay. we were like, you know or what? Let's sometimes. just have fun with it. Yeah. Or right. years. Yeah. Depending. We'll see. Right. Um, but the first time we didn't avoid it. We had fun with it, and then yeah, we, it was very yeah, emotional. It was very it. spiritual. I was like, uh-huh. oh my god, that felt like a baby, but also like this was yeah. our first experience. 
<laughs> she looked at my eyes and she goes, I think, uh, she looked at my eyes and said, I think we just made a baby. Oh and God. then I was, <laughs> and rolled over and I was like, I did see a blue lightning bolt. Yeah. I was like, if we made a child, oh. it's a boy. Is, All the, boy call, is the boy called Bolt? <gasps> oh, I was oh, trying to bolt. find a Turkish name for a Bolt. <laughs> he yes. was trying to think of it because he's yeah. half Turkish. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Trying yeah. To so think where of were that. we when this all happened? Or are we like in a bedroom or are we like somewhere We were in the closet. Of my grandma's house. This is the first time we're going to try. There it is. There it is. Here now. No, we were just in our bedroom. Yeah. Romantic. Just, just a regular night. Just Do a people regular... ask you these questions? No, no like one's ever really. Not a single yeah. time. Yet and not <laughs> live. <laughs> I remember, so I wanted to have a baby so bad, my first mm. one, and my husband was in a meeting, mm. and I called him incessantly because I peed on one of those ovulation sticks. It was the first time oh. I ever said I was like ovulating, so I knew like I dropped an egg. <laughs> and I called him <laughs> over and over again. It's like, it, it, he's used to it, so he knew that he had to pick up after like the 17th <laughs> try. And he's like, what do you want? And I was like, you have to come home right now. I dropped an egg. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, no, I have a meeting. I'm like, you fucking get home right now. I was so horrible and militant wow. about it that he actually <sighs> left 10 minutes later. I remember we had sex. Like, I put my legs <laughs> up the wall for 10 minutes and Phoenix is here. <gasps> yeah. Phoenix. Yeah. Like the Phoenix rising. Mm. Dang. Uh-oh. It's oh, it's a good one. They're putting Uh-oh. it in the bank. Of, They're going to put it in the bank. Names? I uh-huh. don't know. Her name's Phoenix Emmanuel. Her she name was, is Phoenix? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. She's 10 point, she was 10.2 pounds. Uh, that won't happen what? to you. <laughs> no, way too Jesus. much. What, what? That won't That's happen way to you. Too It'll be like a beautiful for, you're so six small. point. They cut her out. Oh, Thank cut God. her out. Mm, yeah, God, I don't know if Thanksgiving that turkey is. My second <laughs> Lennon is a girl oh, these too. These are such good names. Yeah, you did good. Oh, you did well. love it all so much. Do you want much. a gang list? I've got a really good name list. Those are both perfect. Well, we'll give you ours. Okay, what are you guys thinking? Oh, we have a name. <gasps> Just don't put it in. So you're not gonna you're gonna us. bleep it. Uh-huh. Okay, we're bleep, gonna, bleep, we're gonna bleep, bleep this mic. But yeah, we've bleep. been calling him, and we will name. Him. <gasps> that was our which second is name. hilarious. Because yeah. that was our second name. Love we're gonna that call that the one. second one. But I was like, it's a little weird. Right? Okay, okay don't but say that. That, yeah, that was our name for a boy. It's a good. It's, it's a good hilarious. Yeah, we're person. having a boy, and yeah, we're the same. Strong. Right. That's a hilarious. Strong name. Feels That's good. It does. You'll find out soon what the name is. All right. Yeah. All of those out there. Um, but that's what we've been calling him. He's kicking away like. Um, do lot. you remember when yes. you felt oh, the first yes. kick? Yes. yes. What month? I think it was the fourth month for me. Well, you got an early. I, it was like, yeah. I was like hitting like that twenty yeah. week mark, and I think that was, like was a the first. Yeah, it was like mm. a flutter. It was like a little flutter. Yeah. Now towards the end, kick she the was shit like, "Shit out of here." <laughs> yeah, I'm I remember the foot lungs. coming out. Right. Yeah. Mine like, was organs. breached, so her head was like here the whole time, oh, so I never needed to pee because yeah. she'd like tickle my bladder, and I'd be like tickle, <laughs> like do a little tickle pee. <laughs> but it was never like I needed <laughs> to like dance. pee my pants or anything. Oh my god, I'm the opposite. Her head was like fully here. I Sometimes gained like forty pounds. Mm. Forty. Yeah. I'm wondering yeah. how much. How much more do you think I'll gain? If I've gained like 18 Mm. so far and I'm at 26 weeks. 16. 16 more? Maybe. (laughs) Maybe. It's a pound a week after a certain time. Yeah. Oh, second trimester sense. has been slower for great gain, right? Yeah, I feel like that slows down in the second trimester. Right. Yeah. I gained a lot in the first. First, yeah. good. Like, yeah, but so Easy then time. after two, two days after the lightning bolt struck through Johnny, I like, I like bled for a couple days <laughs> yeah. and I was like, okay. <laughs> Like, I wasn't ovulating at that right. time. This right. was just like funsies. Yeah. <laughs> funsies. <laughs> Sorry about that, son. Good times. Yeah. Good times. Just funsies. Yeah. Me and Daddy were having funsies. <laughs> and that is how you will conceive. That's your code word whenever it, when the funsies? baby's born, you know, when yeah. they're little. That's perfect. I've never funsies. even called it that. You just made it. Have I ever said that in my You've life? Never That's said funsies. It's not that sexy to say, like, hey, no. honey, you want to have funsies? funsies. <laughs> Although, it could be. But it's, it's a good code Throw word. Throw a twang in there, right? Yeah. For yeah. the kid. Uh-huh. In yeah. front, if you're in front of the kid, it's a good My mommy funsies. and daddy keep having funsies every week. <laughs> <laughs> and they lock me out of the room and, and they put I the he- door there. I hear mommy screaming. I'm not sure. Does she need help? <laughs> then my she daddy. screams again and then she screams again and then she keeps screaming and he's silent. I don't know. Do you scream that much? Yeah, the craziest thing is it's all done in three scream. minutes. Like, I, I could. Like I, I get <laughs> like really. Scream. I get pretty primal because I feel like I have a lot of energy. Oh, yes. oh my god! Like yes. I would get pregnant just to have sex. Again, <laughs> being in pregnancy. <laughs> sex. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, who cares about the baby? Part? Yeah, but I'd be like, but just why is it sex? so intense? Because everything is so sensitive. Oh it's my like god! Everything. I feel like the yeah. orgasms are longer mm-hmm. too. They're the best. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna I go away it. then. <laughs> Damn it! So disappointed. 
<laughs> no, it just deadens a bit for a little. <laughs> deadens. Oh, what how a happy word. are you to be here, Johnny? I know. I just feel Learning. like I never want to tell a newly pregnant people a per- person anything bad. Yeah, because you don't want to know. Do right. you want to know? You don't want. No, know. I don't want to know. And I also like I'm really big on neuro linguistic programming and programming mm-hmm. our unconscious mind and the way that we talk mm-hmm. to ourselves mm-hmm. and everybody's programming each other by saying this is going to be your experience. Right. It's really hard, and mm-hmm. it's like. I remember doing ayahuasca, which I never thought I would do. Oh, ever, how was that, ever, ever. by the way? I mean, it was a few years ago. Okay. It was beautiful. Okay. Yeah. But I remember sitting there and I remember hearing everybody's voice mm. from the past um, being like, and it was kind of on a whim. Mm. I was mm. just in a place where I was like, you know what? I think I'm feeling prepared to try this. Mm. And I remember hearing everybody's voice being like, it's ego death. It's the hardest thing of your life. It's really mm-hmm. hard. You just puke and all this. Like I remember hearing everything. Mm. And then right before I took the medicine or the, whatever you call it, I r- had a thought, oh, wait, I'm going to create what's going to happen. Exactly. I get to create mm-hmm. exactly what's going to mm. go down. And it ended up being a really beautiful experience. I had to, you know, kind of monitor it mm-hmm. and like get myself out of it. But I've been like for the last 10 few years like just constantly trying to reprogram my brain so that it's like a really nice neighborhood in there Mm -hmm. yeah and so i'm gonna do my best to kind of keep going with it i'm not saying it's gonna be perfect our neighborhood has like kind police policing (laughs) them (laughs) low crime rates yeah what is a no he's so soft you guys i don't what is it you don't even want to know it's It's not it's it's like we're it sounds like a joke it's like a sweet little it's like it's like hey i'm upset about that and then, we, and, then, and then we sit and, and talk like, about I it. I hear that. I feel like that's my husband saying, "Do you want to have sex right now?" It's like that's that's your <laughs> your fight is my like sex. nicest thing he's ever said. <laughs> I I get really um I had a very temperamental father who raised his voice a lot, mm. so I can I can actually sense how much I've healed because I've called in someone who's complete opposite. Right. And you just don't really seem that angry. Like your most angry is pretty calming to my nervous system. Mm. And he has a really good ability. I don't have this, but I'm learning how to do it to just zoom out in the situations Mm -hmm. where I feel really close to and I need an immediate answer and I'm in my feelings. And he zooms out and is able to just really disarm a lot of the issues. That is amazing. Do you have that, Roxy? I wish I had that ability. I'm <laughs> no, more... is that you have that relationship? <laughs> <laughs> that would be extra in my relationship. Yeah. I, 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 I would love to have that, to be able to kind of like separate myself out and like step out of that mm. moment of like high intensity feeling, you know, mm-hmm. and put on my, you know, analytical mind right. instead of just mm-hmm. always leading with the feeling. It's hard yeah. though. But I think it's also yeah. because we've been with that partner like 16 years. And I think when you're with someone, right. I met my husband so young. I was like 21 years yeah. old. And like, you're still a baby. You're mm-hmm. still a baby. My frontal lobe hadn't fully, fully developed. And I was talking, you know, we had to go to therapy because we don't want it to be broken. Yeah, um, that's good. And that's it's great really wonderful and we've lasted for so long but I said to the therapist I was like the things that I needed at 21 are very different to the things mm. that I need in my like late 30s like that's you know it's it's and he's 12 years older than me so he's in a totally different area of his life and we've also got children and that does and I won't say anything negative about Don't that experience them. no Don't but it does <laughs> what happens is you have other people to focus on so the mm-hmm. focus goes less on your relationship because mm. you just don't have the bandwidth you don't yeah. have the bandwidth of time energy you're exhausted mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so you got to really, my husband and I always have a date night. We always have a date night on Fridays and we have sex normally on Fridays. <laughs> Even if it's just we lay on top what time? of each other. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do not call me from 7 to 7.03. Um, oh, that a boy. And, I'm lying. 7.01.5. <laughs> I want to watch something on Netflix on Fridays. Mm. Um, so, but it's consistency. Like we really try after 16 years to have that consistency of a day night. And sometimes like we just go and sit in the trunk of, I'm not in the trunk of our car, we open the trunk. <laughs> it sounded really it's strange. weird. He, he puts me in a cage <laughs> in the car. Uh-huh. No, that's strange. It's My sexual fantasy. No, he opens up the trunk <laughs> and we eat tacos. Aww. And sometimes you don't even have anything to say to each other because we're fucking exhausted. Mm. But we've made an effort. That's really, and it's I like can't trying even to make imagine an effort with like kids. That long. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, uh-huh. that's great. And because I don't, ex- I don't expect it's all, it's all, almost four years. Okay, it's still a big, okay, but it's still a baby. We've had so much time together, like pandemic. so pandemic. much time every day. Our first year was the pandemic every single day, wow. like within months. 
he was moved in, but you know, had his own room because we didn't want to make it a step. We wanted to just mm-hmm. be convenient for the pandemic and we'll reroute mm-hmm. in a few months and see if this is working. And we just lived really well together. Mm-hmm. It's been pretty, e- I always thought I'm an only child. I always need my space. Mm-hmm. Even with the guy that I married, which you guys know mm-hmm. that story. I told it last time, like within a week of meeting that guy, I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I need to go to yoga. I need to go to my space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've yet to feel like I need my space. Because mm. so, space. Yeah, it's very. You know I, mean? I like had no idea so that that could be possible. I'm gonna vomit. Just kidding. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe, I'm, maybe I'm pregnant. <laughs> maybe you are. I just want an orgasm. <laughs> were you okay? So when you guys met, were you afraid of you know opening yourself back up again? Like, how did that work? Why how was about, he the one that like hmm. was the magic? Well, there's. I'm gonna. Magic. I can say, of course, yeah, mm. yeah, of course. I was right. terrified. I was mm. like, there marriage is a sham mm. what's the point mm-hmm, it guarantees right. nothing i definitely need a some time away from men um i know i'll heal this and mm-hmm. it's fine and i'll open my heart back up right mm-hmm. like that's the lesson it's like i'm not gonna close my heart because some man's in pain mm-hmm. and betray me or whatever um but maybe you can tell your perspective of it of your experience of what it was like being with someone who is just so blindsided uh-huh. no uh-huh. <laughs> that was just like, like being with me it's a blue lightning bolt <laughs> yes, I mean imagine someone bolt. said that to me it was like when I, I have mean, sex with you I see a lightning bolt I'd be like that's hot yeah <laughs> like, you really like yeah. me <laughs> well, it's uh, Manon has done like it, it was obvious from the get go how mature and how much work she's done herself because mm-hmm. we met in a very unique uh, manner. It, we met because she popped up on Facebook. You mm-hmm. might know Man and Matthews. Like, oh, I remember her. Mm-hmm. Me and my buddies had written a, a, a script, and mm-hmm. I was trying to find a comedian to fill the role. Mm-hmm. And so it was just, and I was like such a younger version of myself. It's mm-hmm. wild to see how much we've like grown and how much she's made me grow. But she was so like. She just was like present. She's so mm-hmm. present. Mm-hmm. And so we met at M Street uh, Cafe. And the the I, I saw that she was married on social media. So I came with zero. Like there was right. not a single thought of like. Yeah, like the first five times we mm-hmm. met, there, it wasn't under the guise of we're dating. Mm-hmm. Or we're going to, you know, how when you go on a date, there's mm-hmm. this intention of, okay, I'm going to interview you kind of and mm-hmm. just see if like there's a vibe. Right. All that was gone. My mm-hmm. impossibility so, was gone for me. I wasn't even thinking like, right. let's see. It was like, oh, no, she's in a yeah, happy thing. So we thing got to like know itself. each other without that Mm. which was simply about like the script and like other things and you had such a lightness about you which was i was the guy i married was very dense Mm. heavy energy trauma (laughs) just like so dense (laughs) and like he was just came in it was like a breath of fresh air Mm. but i guess in the terms of like once we started that romantic relationship Then you became dense. Just, <laughs> and then he became so just, fucking heavy. So like, oh, so oh heavy. my God, you're so Lots heavy. of trauma. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, like we're, what was your experience of knowing mm. what I had just gone through? Because I wasn't over, like, I wasn't, I'm cleared and now Weird. we can date. I was yeah. still, like, going through a divorce right? Mm-hmm. while trying to be like, I think I like spending time with you. Mm. Like was was I like jealous or was I? You're a weird human being. I don't know how she pulls it off. She's like has to. She's like a powerhouse within her because for someone, she was just. What's the, even the words? You were so like present with yourself, and mm. she was. She gave herself the space to like explore with me, but mm. then also had like the wounds, but she like never lashed out really. You're just, you were so, you're so sweet. You were, you were even so sweet to him at the end after you knew everything. Oh, yeah. That was a it was just so interesting. Like, like, no, I would, <laughs> I would put glitter his everywhere. Down. Pissed. Glitter. I'd put every glitter. Oh, glitter. That's a shit. good one. Yeah. Oh, yes. You can never get glitter out. Uh-huh. You know this when you have oh, children. Wow. So oh, glitter oh, his oh, stuff. Glitter. Literally, yeah. you never will get it out of anything. Ooh. Just for be, extra. I would f- like to think I was evolved. I hope yeah. to be. I hope to be. I think I'm more evolved, but evolved, evolved. <laughs> 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 I'd like to be more evolved. Okay, <laughs> you like me more. I'd like to be more evolved. Oh, I love it so like, much. Uh, I mean, that's not it. I'd but. like to be more evolved, but I'm. So I sometimes struggle. I think I struggle oh. because because I feel when someone hurts me, it goes back to my childhood of being super bullied as an overweight kid Mm -hmm. and like rocks were thrown at my head and like all this, I was severely bullied and I was like 210 Mm -hmm. pounds and and then I think I told you this and then lost the weight and got on a TV show and then 
that's such a mind fuck. And then mm. you're on covers of magazines and people yeah. saying, oh my God, you look pretty. And you're like, wait a second. Someone was throwing a rock at my head like six, th- six weeks, <laughs> you know, eight weeks ago. What, <laughs> like, what's going on? Yeah. But I think when people leave me, mm. I feel like I'm not good enough. Yeah, and then course. my ego goes back to that. And my id is like, how dare you treat me like that? I think. Okay, so that's, that's like where, where the vengeance comes from. <laughs> Let's know. chalk it up to that. Maybe it's fear. Okay. Mm. Maybe it's control. I was bullied I, too. I had lollipops thrown in my hair, and I was called ugly plenty. Yeah. And it's Why t- do people do that? Uh, it's just their own hate of themselves. Maybe I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, I think so. I think they're hurt people. Hurt people. I know. I so think so. Yeah, that. I know it's true. But I'm it's not. true. But I'm now at this point, when I first yeah. heard it, I was like. <gasps> <sighs> that's so brilliant it's Un- so true yeah. and now i'm like shut up <laughs> Unhappiness. i used to and say heal Unhappiness people. is the fastest uh. pipeline to hate i used to say that all the time and now with my kids says like someone bullied me i say hurt people hurt people but i'm pissed yeah mm-hmm. yeah i'm pissed i think when we first met sure. and first started dating there were i would hear a song and then i'd start mm-hmm. sobbing and he would just be <laughs> like he would know i think he would know what was going on which was like this or i would tell him like oh this was my wedding song and right. he would literally go let it out i got you and he would just wait there until i start he didn't try to fix it he didn't yeah. try to like stop it he didn't make it personal he wasn't like why aren't you over this what am i gonna do explain <laughs> like, the reason why sex with you yeah. 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 lightning bolt yeah. Yeah. you're pregnant with my child and you're yeah. still going to that song and then there was times where like he he'd be on like you know the guy that i married was like sexting people so like mm, yeah. there was times where you were on instagram and i was still a little bit like wounded there mm. and you just he was like Hey, Manon, anytime you want to check my phone, it's all yours. I have nothing to hide. I'm not a cheater. Mm. I've never cheated. It's not in my DNA. You never have to worry. And I'll tell you this as many times as you need. Like, he was just so solid. And my body was like, oh, I trust this person. Mm. And uh, honestly, he helped me heal that wound of the guy that I, like, pretty within months to where, like, my jealousy of that wound kind of dissolved pretty quickly quickly mm. i'd say that could have lasted a really long yeah. time i just think you're her foundation you have such a good foundation of like self-work and understanding yourself and and your forgiveness and you're so kind like no sh- but i think it's a testament to the way that you held space for me too you didn't make it personally you mm. don't take things personally mm. zoom out <laughs> it's a technique. There must be something. It's like this what's is going to pay off. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your what's angle? Your, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, People aren't born like this. I know. So his must his, be his wrong. parents are like married for 42 years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That helps. His parents love the shit. Like, he doesn't, I don't. Single child? Yeah. yeah. Single, like, oh, he wow. just oh, does it. Only ch- okay. Interesting. We both really hold our own space pretty well, too. So I never so then feel like. Have more than, what, what would you like to have more than one? I would like to. I would like to. That's the plan. Are we talking like soccer team? No, you went straight no. to soccer. Like I just want two kids. We could go max. We could go minimum. We could She's go like, do you between. Want twelve children. <laughs> You're like, do I think I would just like you want two. Second string, third yeah. string. <laughs> We're thinking two. Yeah, two maybe. Two. Uh, maybe we'll see. I just want three. Yeah, maybe. Three. Definitely two. We would like two because we, oh, we were long definitely mm-hmm. five days ago. It was. Let's one. get through one. But oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to be in the day and just focus on one. But like. You know, my whole life, I was like, I want more than two. Uh-huh. Nice. I thought I was gonna have three, but then I really thought about it, and it's really expensive. Oh, mm-hmm. it's- mm-hmm. and they lick the ice cream. The ice cream falls in the in the car. They're screaming. They want new ice cream. I'm very steadfast. I'm like, I'm really sorry. You lost your ice cream. Now you're gonna have to mm-hmm. clean it up. And that's yeah, it. That's great. That is the discipline. That is the discipline. That's that beautiful. Is, yeah, right. And it's you gave them. I'm I'm super chill about it. And they've learned the lesson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not and about go just- to your room. Mm-hmm. Like I told mm-hmm. you so. Like, you're like an idiot. Like it's just being like. Well, the consequence is no more ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like putting the I, I let you know up. and you decided yeah. to do different and moving forward, maybe you'll pick the cup next time. <laughs> yep. And you'll make it different. And decision. I love that. I want, I mean, yeah. I oh, hope I can be like that. I hope yeah. I can be calm. I'm scared. I don't know what to expect. I'm afraid I'm going to be my parents and just... <laughs> just beat the Whack. shit out. I mean, all I didn't get kinda, beat, I mean, but like they said, yeah, I didn't get they, beat, but I. But energetically, I'm, I just feel like you know, and obviously, I don't want to shit on my parents, but mm-hmm. like we always want to do better than our parents did, always. of course, always, and I think we do. I think yeah. they did better than their parents, yeah, and so. Mm-hmm. You know, I think you'll be a very calm if you are the disciplinarian. It'll be calm. I don't see you being like 
projecting temper mm. onto the, you mm-hmm. know, like no. getting angry and like directing it at the mm-hmm. kid. I felt that. And I felt that on my nervous system. I'm mm. like, oh man, I really wish my dad would have just, if he was frustrated in his own life, would have mm-hmm. yelled away from me. Right. right. So that right. I didn't go, oh my God, I must not be enough because right. or whatever. Or at least come to me and say, hey, I yelled. Right. I just want you to know it has nothing to do so with like any sort of, yeah, the repair would have mm-hmm. been, repair. oh, there was no repair. Rep- mm-hmm. <laughs> no repair, mate. No repair, mate. No repair. No repair. Get it. No repair. <laughs> There's no repair. Wait, what's you do your Aussie accent? My Aussie accent. Nothing. Who's Aussie accent? Mine. Yeah, I got one. Okay, we can play. Um, I'm going to ask you a few questions. You're going to have to answer. What's a bungee smuggler? Bungee smuggler. That's someone that's um, you know, like a bungee cord. They took a yeah. couple of those and smuggled themselves. And smuggled them somewhere. Uh, <laughs> no. It might be underwear or something. I'm not sure. It is underwear. Is it? No, it's uh-huh. like when you go to the beach and your bud- Budge- budgies are smuggled. Oh, Which are your balls? Mm. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's and good. how about how about how about bags not? Bags, bags not. not. Do you know what that is? Bags not. Bags not. Mm. Go in the go front to- seat. Go go in the back seat. Bags not. Not but, me. Like, not it. Like, yes. uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. We got a lot of them. It's very confusing our talk because like yes is no yeah <laughs> and no is yeah no. <laughs> So you guys are indecisive, That's huh? true. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Bet. This is very confusing. Have you been to Australia? I have you not. have. That's where I got engaged. Oh, so, oh, oh, sorry, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Look what you did. Have I been? We're crying. Way to bring that up, Tamman. Alex <laughs> Nay on the Aust- he was Australian. No, he was Scottish, but then Saturday. lived in Australia. Oh, yeah. Okay, he was Scottish, grew up in New Zealand, moved to Australia to work in the mines, and then lived there for like eight years. So he had like a mm. New Zealand Aus- Aussie accent. Yeah, yeah. So you hate Australia? <laughs> no, I don't. I really She's don't. I just with you this and isn't you wasn't and my problem. I don't care. Yeah, he has yes. to live with him. I, I don't. I'm so free. Back. What? Come back to Australia. Yeah, I'll come back. <laughs> well, speaking of travel, wait, you guys were just traveling and you lost all of your luggage? We didn't lose it. We didn't lose a thing. <gasps> we did uh, everything uh, right. Did, yeah, what, wait, what, what wait did you get it back? Did you get it back? We Flying did. <gasps> on the yeah, trip or actually, after? No, after. after. Oh, the other, actually, the other morning I got a knock on the door you were working and mm. I was like, that's weird. And I opened the door and no uh. one's there, but the baggage is just... They left it? <laughs> yeah. Oh they just left it. Thank God they left it and didn't try to... It was horrible. So, yeah, I remember I messaged you yeah. and I said, it will come. Mm. It just takes... Because I travel so much to, the, to Europe and I'm, it, I, like, it always happens. You get what it. What is that? You, you just it. don't so get it for a while. Your favorite airline and least favorite airline. What are they? Qantas is probably the best and safest all round. Mm. I, I mean, I liked Emirates. Qatar is supposed to be Those sound great. I've heard Qatar. Emirates. um, Qantas is incredible. Yeah. Have you been Qantas? No. No, I'm going to. When you go in American airline after you've been an international Mm. airline, you realize like how it's like you're in a zoo. It's just horrible. What's your least favorite? United. (laughs) Oh. United's not my favorite. I mean, I went Air Cambodia and it was amazing. Wow. The people were all put together. The food was great. There was TV screens. You know, I mean, I was hoping we'd make it to our destination. No, it was great. It was, it was, it was a little bumpy. No, no, it was great. I was once on um, Air Jordan, and I. That's right. That's probably my least. There's favorite. a fl- airline called Air Jordan. Yeah, and we just were, like the sneaker. Uh, we were about <laughs> so we were about to leave, and they said, "I'm sorry, we can't leave. There's a problem with the engine." Three. It's seconds, a shoelace. Three seconds later. Three seconds, later, three seconds later, they said, "Get ready for takeoff." Oh no! And we took off. And you made it, and you're here. It was only a 20 minute flight, so it was up and down. But I mean, that's really it was, weird. It was, it was a, oh, so it we was could a, glide back down. You're good. Yeah, I was like, we're just <laughs> we're not really up that high. <laughs> we're just gonna drive there. there. What was the airline that lost your guys? Back? British Airways. Oh, British Airways, Ooh, British Airways shit the bed so many times. <gasps> oh, really? Yeah, they it's... canceled our flight huh. and Last then second. booked it for the next day. Then <gasps> that one got canceled. <gasps> Because yeah. they couldn't get the engine to work. A, there was a and layover, they, even though it was just mm. to Scotland, which was like an hour long flight. I'm like, what are you doing with a layover? Then that's how it's the layovers that lose your luggage. Yeah. Yes. That's, it's not, it's the, it's the, not the direct. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, so what did you do? Because you're pregnant, like with no clothes. I had to wear the same thing every day. Every day. And then eventually we were like, oh, we're not getting it back. So then I had to like buy a few things. Mm-hmm. I had to pay extra for hotel nights because, like, when they canceled our flight, I had to rebook in Tuscany mm. and then still pay for the oh yeah Scotland. And so I hope they give us money. 
I submitted the forms. There's no customer service number. You can only do emails. Of course not. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Listen, I was on an American flight. I'm not going to tell the whole story because I've told it along, but we were going over the ocean from New York to Turkey, two hours over the ocean. We lost all electrical power, landed in Nova Scotia. They didn't tell us. They said we're landing. We thought we were landing in the ocean. This was just before... I, Phoenix was um, born before I was pregnant oh. and we landed in an aborted military strip slash turned into a football field because it wasn't really running. There was no airport. We had no instruments. When we were landing, it was pitch dark in, in, in the airplane. It was 767. And we had to wait on the plane for eight hours for another plane to like land next to us. And they gave us an, e- an e- when we got back to, when we got to Turkey, we got this email from the airline and they said, I'm really sorry about everything that's happened. I've saved the email. We're going to give you a $167 voucher. <laughs> Your, I was like, I mean, and they kept it out of the press too. It was, it was an American airlines, like one of the American airlines. And there was a little oh. bit in the press in Canada, but that was about it. I hate yeah, it. Did you ever use like, that voucher? I didn't. Do you want to give it to us? <laughs> I was, I was like, it's so did, stupid. Oh, Here's a hundred fifty bucks voucher, right. but it expires in a year, and, and you have to call like, to like for yeah. two hours to like actually Who's ever put it towards use it? Oh, your ticket. Yeah. Oh, it's angry. Too soon to hear that story. It hurts. I'm still hurting. So safe to say, no more British Airways flights. Yo, no. I, I loved. Will. I liked the one from L.A. to Heathrow. Okay, it was the business. I was, got a really good mm. f- uh, price on business class, which okay. was my dream. I had never flown <gasps> international international business. How was, it? It, was heaven. it? was heaven. It was right? more yeah. fun than the whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> there was a point where we we're like, I'm excited to get back in that plane, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't that so great? That Once was you've gone good. there, it's hard uh-huh. to go back. Oh, I never want to not. Yeah, no. I know. Mm-hmm. That's going to be tough. Yeah, I'm going to feel like a peasant. All the yes. people and you're just like, fuck. Yeah, waiting in line to get on. Mm. Oh, no, no. It's oh. a business class is where it's at. But we had fun. We went to Paris. No bed bugs. <gasps> no I don't bed. think. We missed them. I didn't get any. We missed I, I didn't I get them either. I checked her holes. I'm sure. We had oh, a lot of croissants. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's, how I, that's, how I met my, that's how I met my husband. He was checking for ticks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's so like, Let's cute. check for ticks. <laughs> and since we're here. <laughs> might as well put it in. That's sweet. Yeah, he didn't say nice. it like that. He <laughs> said, you have no ticks on your butt. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, I'm so glad he was down there to check. Yeah. Excuse me. It's really sweet. Are we tiring? No. <laughs> that story sucked. I'm praying. That really <laughs> upset her. Yeah. That was tiring. To <laughs> okay. Too. So Paris, Tuscany. Where did we go? Paris, Rome. Rome. Oh, Rome. Okay. Paris to Rome. Roma. Roma to Florence. Romans are great. Can we say though? Oh, yeah. Like the Italians. They're great. They're aren't they? Italy, My amazing. favorite. You did. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Smart. Right it was so delicious. Twenty people, three days. Best. Let's time. do that. Yeah. Okay, tell us about Rome. Rome was the best, or Rome was the most favorite. Was the best. Yeah, that's hard. To- Fabio, my waiter, Fabio. Oh yeah. Our where I had my first Rome. pizza, first night, the pizza, pizza. Oh. Fabio is so fun. He right? kept punching him. He goes, he's a bigger guy, huh? <laughs> you don't feel it, <laughs> and he just kept beating the shit out of me. I love him. I miss him. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we love Rome. It was quick. It was three nights. Walked around a lot. Ate food. Pizza I forgot pasta. I was pregnant, so Pizza I just kept pasta. walking. And he's like, "Are you okay?" And she killed it. At one yeah. point, I was like, "Yo, you're you have a belly. Like you're pregnant. You're just walking like a champion all day." I think because my unconscious just remembers like walking. Yeah. From living in New York and like you gotta go. I wasn't like, oh wait. No. It's also a good time. The second trimester yeah. is great. Yes. You're fucked for the third. Energy. <laughs> you're just kidding. You're full of I'm good a little news. worried. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's not as bad as the first. That's oh, what yes. I'll say. Yeah. Uh, I feel like yeah. a lot of people are getting pregnant right now. Have yeah. you felt that There's way? A baby boom. No baby boom. No one that you know. Oh, all mine are. All of them are. All of what, them. what just happened? Was there like a time when everybody was having sex? Like, did something just happen where Maybe pandemic oh, ended and people's like, oh, let's get this in. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. I can see that maybe. Yeah. Mm. That's why. I mean, I didn't good really want to. Oh, wasn't it's a sag strike. To. Oh, there it is. It's good timing for me to be pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> How do you guys feel, I, I feel felt- about it all? I mean, like, obviously it's horrible that you're off, but, you know, yeah. I kind of felt like COVID, COVID was horrible because my husband got really sick, Ooh. but, but mm. the time together, my daughter was one when one, one of them was one, one of them was six. I was really so connecting yeah so do you feel like because you now don't have to stress so much about getting work or is it more stressful because you don't have work uh, okay of both it's so obviously i don't love what's going on mm-hmm. but like it is perfect timing for me to like have an excuse that i'm like not i'm also don't feel like i'm missing out because mm-hmm. that can happen in pregnancy mm-hmm. although i do feel like i am missing out like i mentioned to you online about brand deals for right. some reason no one's getting brand deals <laughs> what the hell it's so crazy i message all my 
brand deal friends. That's brand deal friends. That's a group I have, I have just a name? section of people, brand just group. brand deal friends. <laughs> and I, I cut and paste the same thing going, are you getting brand deals? No, I don't, but sort of I do. And they're all saying no. Mm. That made me feel so good because yeah. I was mm. like, oh, is it just because I'm pregnant? And it might be. I mean, maybe the brand deals I would have done, it's like less relatable because it's mm. like, no, once you're pregnant, that's just like such a streamlined audience. Mm. Mm. I'm trusting that when the baby comes that there'll be a whole influx of brands that do want to work with me as a mom mm-hmm. um so that's been a little discon like it's just like ooh. it's hard to not have incoming yeah money. It, it is especially yeah. since we just spent quite a bit i know on that baby moon a yeah. lot more than we thought we would uh-huh, spend right it happens <laughs> like yeah. so much money Wait, so when the baby comes <laughs> are you going to be documenting this on social like are you going to post a picture great question i was just gonna I never ask birth. you yeah. what i should do I was yeah, do. <laughs> yeah what do you think i don't think we'll post the birth I doubt will that. Will you post the baby's face? I haven't yeah. even posted the reveal of us finding out. <laughs> I know. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't. Like, I haven't posted yeah. that. It's But that moment's kind of like ours I have, to I me. Yes. But I have a lot of moments that I've kept private. private. Yeah. And I don't think I would do now what I did 10 years ago. Mm-mm. What did you do 10 years posted ago? Posted my baby all the time. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I would do that now. I don't know if I want to post the baby. Yeah. It's interesting. I just I definitely saw... will take pictures of the baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's hard. For I can't you. imagine with what I do. I'm so open online. I can't I imagine know. not posting the baby. Yeah. Mm. But I'm torn. Yeah. I, I, get, yeah. I just saw a video of a guy talking about um, child, like like kind of child protective mm-hmm. services over um, influencers using their kids. Mm. Because a guy, it was a video where a guy holds up an infant in a, in a way that didn't seem very safe. Mm-hmm. He's, like, he's like, that's my little baby. And then there's, he was saying we should, we, you know, there should be oversight and we mm. should be, you should be, have like labor laws to the kid being on camera and all these like mm, yeah. rules. And I, part of me was like, that's smart for those that are irresponsible with their child. But then I don't want someone encroaching, telling me what I can't like record of my kid and post right. on my page. But mm. I, I it's, it's a very, so it's a, such a fine line. Again, 10 years ago, I don't think we had the information that we no. have now. Now we actually, I would never ever now post a picture of just my kid's face as a post. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I would never do that. My kids have been in a few ads. We've actually set up accounts for them. So they get paid. And That's if you cool. look at the ads, it's the side of my kids' faces. So I'm really trying, if they're involved in it for a split second, it's really dependent on what the brand is and they get paid for it. And if my eldest doesn't want to do it, we're not making her do it. Yeah, like, that's I don't really want her to have it should be their agency. choice. Yeah, yeah it should absolutely. be their choice to do it. It's yeah. hard to navigate. I mean, we're not doing it perfectly. We just if that mm. feels right for me. To, I don't want to post a picture of my kid going to a school. Like even if the school's crossed out, being like first day of school and their full face. I don't know. It just it, yeah, it's it, it, it could really yeah. I understand. Well, you don't know who's on the other side of that. You know, it's like who's looking at these pictures. Like, and I'm way too trusting. I'll throw my keys in a bush when I'm going on a hike. Like, oh, they'll be there. And he's like, "What are you doing? (laughs) Just put them under. I put them under the 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 car uh, on the on the tire." Well, don't say that. Everyone knows that. (laughs) Everyone knows the tire. I don't do that. I have a specific bush. I think I want to live in Nashville, and that's because I don't want to hold my keys. And you're like, you can't do that. I think I want to move to Man and Land. I want to live in your brain because that it sounds like a very very nice place. Yeah, only if you Trust don't sometimes. get abducted. Yeah. Like she's yeah. been lucky We're and now she has need to protect her. I leave the door her. unlocked. I'm no, you like, cannot do that. And especially with kids, you have to. So we With play kids, this. I'll lock it. But mm-hmm. like, I'll just say it, like yeah. I wasn't. You have to teach your kids. So we play this game called mm-hmm. like, is mommy going to kidnap you? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. It's, sweet. it's real sweet. Is daddy going to kill me? That? <laughs> we go like, is, am I a serial killer? Like, you know, so we play that game with my four year old, 10 year old. But we do this thing and I do it all the time. I ding dong the bell, mm. right? So we we were in mm. Australia recently. Mm. I ding dong the bell. Phoenix knows my eldest. She's like, "Who is it?" And I'm like, "It's your." I, I try to change my voice. It's your mom. And I'm trying to like trying to be really weird. Mm-hmm. First time she opened the door, oh. I was like, "You'd be dead." Mm-hmm. Let's try this again. <laughs> so run it back, kiddo. You know, run it run back. back. Go, and go, I go. do every time I I come in and I ding dong the bell and they go, "Who is it?" Now they do not open the door, even if I say it's me. They're like, "I'm getting dad." Because you literally mm. don't know who's like at that. your door. Mm-hmm. See, look at this. Proactive. See, right? I like it. I'll take it. Mm-hmm. I'll do that. Take it. Thing. I just need ideas. Yeah. Yes. Another good tip, if you're driving with your kid, there was like a, it was right around Halloween. So it was like Scooby-Doo van was out. Mm. And I was like, oh, look, it looks like the Scooby-Doo van's out. She's like, oh my God, I love Scooby-Doo. I go, what if the guy that's playing Shaggy in there was like, come in the Scooby-Doo mm. van and I have candy and 
you come in. We've got toys. We're going to mm. play. It's going to be amazing. She's like, I'd go. I'm like, yeah. no, that's oh. not the Wrong right answer. answer. Let's get out of the car. <laughs> right. You're done. <laughs> but yeah, you got like little when you think mm. that they know, they don't know. Also, yeah. this is really sad that we have to do this. Mm. But in the car, if if your child ever gets abducted, I'm sorry we have to talk about this. Oh. <laughs> it's like, welcome to the show. <laughs> but there's a little leave. Uh, le- Lever, um, in the in the in the trunk or the, the but we call it the boot mm-hmm. boot the, the boot trunk. is that yeah. the name okay. so when you sh- it, they go in there like my ten year old if I put her in there she knows like what what to press to get out yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really important oh. all the warm fuzzies right now right mm. I like it I like preventative yeah. measures there's a balance mm-hmm. right of like not instilling fear this is man mm-hmm. and land versus Johnny land mm-hmm. man and has like a I don't want to think about that and manifest it and I'm like I'd rather have the yes. tools to be ready mm-hmm. if I need to be ready, right? Yeah, preparation. Huh? My and husband does that. We, uh, t- we've got so many water bottles, bottles. and like canned goods. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. More beans than you can imagine. Oh my God, it. like half out, half out uh, For like garage. earthquakes and stuff or no, like, like- Any disaster. It, anything. Well, do you have earthquakes in Tennessee? Yeah, that's why- We maybe. have um, oh twisters. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you guys have Equally every bad. deadly animal is what you have. In Australia? Yeah, it's, everything's poisonous, <laughs> killing you, oh, attacking you. Oh yeah, we went on a hike and um, my husband's scared of all of it. And because um, he's from Missouri. Because he's and smart. So, like, <laughs> really? What <laughs> yeah. part? Um, Kansas City or St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. Our first day was at Applebee's in Kansas. Oh, oh big spender! I know, mm-hmm. and it was like we were on a movie set, and I hadn't eaten because it was like there's enough food. And it, like as at Applebee's, I was like, oh my god, this chicken Caesar salad is so good. And he's like, this is the girl for me. Like I back to LA, and I was like, the Four Seasons tuna char char is my favorite. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, huh? Um, he thought I was really just down to earth. Tricked him, um, huh? Is he an act? No, he's a director. Director. Yeah, yeah. Writer, director. Um, what was I saying? That's really there? cute. Oh, the Animals danger hike. Scared. You're on a hike the, yeah, in Australia. On a hike in Australia and, and there was a sign that said, don't let the darting trees <laughs> dart at you. They're deadly. <laughs> John's like, how the fuck do darting you like, trees? We have darting trees. What do they, they do? Blow darts at like yeah, they like, blow. They just like blow darts. At. <gasps> Yo, yeah. come Wait, on, dude. Yeah. Even your plants. <laughs> yeah, we picked up a a, a little um a little uh, uh shell, and we thought this like cute little thing came out, and like all my social media people on DMs were just like, "That's a coon snail," and we looked it up. It'll kill you within. Oh, those are like, so they'll dangerous. They'll kill you within like five seconds, and there's no symptoms except death. And I was holding one. And I threw it in the car and my kid was screaming. Was like, oh my God. Is mommy a serial killer? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're bad today. Come See, down. No. There's no man and land there. <laughs> Everything's the danger in that place. Yeah, well, we're mm. not going to go to Australia. You ruined it for us. <laughs> <laughs> we're not visiting. That's so sad. Everyone's trying to kill you there. It right? is. Everything and everyone. So back to the SAG strike. Mm. Okay. So how do you feel navigating being an actor in LA and like self-worth and feeling like, do you have... Do you ever feel like you haven't made like what is making it? I don't feel like like I've made made it. it? Do you feel like you haven't even started? Do you feel like you're upset that you haven't gotten or do you feel like you have gotten to where Mm. you want to go? All of it. Oh, my God. (laughs) First of all, I've quit acting four times. Really? Yeah, I quit acting two years ago, was it? And um, that was one of the times I quit acting. One one other time I quit acting. It was I was just like going to bed. I'm like, I quit. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I feel so good. And then the next morning I sat down next to Anne Hathaway and we talked for an hour and I was like, that's weird. Maybe I won't quit. Maybe that was a sign. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But two years ago I quit acting, but I had an audition and I was like on with a coach. Sometimes I coach. I bear I rarely don't. I sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Mm. But I was on a call with her and we were just talking about it and she we we're talking about my agents because i've always had really good agents like the name mm. but not necessarily like yeah. them always getting me out right um and she was like do you ever go in for like co-stars or guest stars i was like no they always put me for the lead and yeah. it's really annoying because against anne hathaway uh, yeah, yeah it's like it's, it's always like between it's me not- and anne hathaway <laughs> and they always choose anne hathaway yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck um and i i she's like maybe get in and i was like i would love to do co-star guest stars Mm -hmm. and just like meet people and like get my feet wet and not just Mm -hmm. go out for the lead because i have a following or whatever reason they think it's a, it was an you know and so anyway i just like decided to quit she's like well do you want to go over this audition and i was like nah but then we did film the audition it was actually at your parents house Mm -hmm. And I read it off of the page. It was three scenes. And it was, it was very aligned t- with her as a person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The lines were what I man and would say. Yeah. 
but I clearly was detached because in my mind I was like, well, I already quit, so it's fine. Mm-hmm. And then that was like the one time I it was for the lead of a show mm-hmm. and I had tested. Like I, the next day, like, oh, director session. I was like, that's funny. Like, like, I just yeah, quit. It's like the ones you don't care. And then, yeah, tested. And then three weeks, it was down me and to one other girl. And then the other girl got it. And then I felt every, I felt like the last 10, 15 years of wanting to be an actor, like raised to the surface yeah. of devastation. Mm-hmm. And of course, like it's like the chairman of Disney, and all these people are like, "You're good. This just means you're getting the next one." Oh, I can't stand mm-hmm. that. It's been two you're years. So close. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hate that. I was me big for Big Bang Theory. I was so close. Big, to big Bag Theory big is that a spinoff of <laughs> <laughs> Big Bang? I said Bang, but it was my Bang. Accent. So Big Bang. It was I was so close to that one in Transformers. Those are my two. Oh. Like, really, like I could taste, smell, taste it. Would you have been mm-hmm. the Megan Fox character? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could see that. Well, mm-hmm. like you know. 20 years ago like you know <laughs> however long it's that would have been great so mm-hmm. that I dang. met him Shia um, no the oh <laughs> the director with these dogs I met him went to his house <laughs> what's his name so confident so Shia, Shia. <laughs> Shia. his name um, um, Michael Bay, Michael Bay. Bay. And he had two massive. I just remember sitting there going, "Huh." He has two massive dogs. They're literally this this big. Like I thought you were gonna say he has two mastiffs. <laughs> he did. Yeah, I think they probably were. Oh, yeah. And they're just staring at me the whole audition. I just remember thinking, "This is so." Strange. What you had to audition at his at house? His house? Yeah, it was like a oh. setup. I don't know. It was like office. I don't know mm. that one. And then I you had to audition in his, his bed. bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. His his dick car in a <laughs> bikini. No, like you said. I he did not no. ask for that. No, no, cancel, cancel. No. We don't no. mean that. Don't worry about that. Didn't Habit. No, I did not <laughs> jump on his lap. Um, maybe that's why I didn't get the role. You should have. <laughs> yeah. Come you on, would have been I like, wow. But yeah, that was really close. Big Bang was really close. To oh, me. that would have been like really, really close. Yeah. But what did you learn from that? What did you learn from not getting fucking that? nothing? <laughs> <laughs> so I no, think I have not made it. Yeah. In my head, right? Okay. My father was like, "You've made it. These are your dreams have come true." And I'm mm. like, "Yeah." You know what? Why am I? I've discredited a lot. I've talked a lot about this with. Laura, mm-hmm. because she has 15 million followers mm-hmm. on Facebook. She's killing it on TikTok. Mm-hmm. As far as her numbers go, mm-hmm. she's obviously very talented. But she reminds me, like, you. the point is, is you wanted to, like, create and, like, have yeah, your... What is, making it? What is yeah. making it anymore? And people aren't on the TV anymore right. like they mm-hmm. once were. So I'm, like, comparing it to 20 years ago. I mean, there was a long time where I really wanted to be on SNL, mm-hmm. and I thought that that was my dream. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I wanted to do characters and make millions of people laugh. Okay, mm-hmm. so I do that. So technically, to some people, I've made it. Mm. Yeah. My limited thinking oh. <laughs> is like until I'm starring yes. next to Anne Hathaway, it and still I'm until I'm on Women on Top. <laughs> You or made the bottom, it. You have, there you go. <laughs> well, here you go. I, I hear you. Like, no, I like I don't. I'm yeah, like I haven't I even it. gotten started. No. I haven't even I scratched think. the surface. Like I nothing's happened. But we're never it, good enough, right? We're yeah. never good enough. There's and, always yeah. we're only always holding ourselves back. I feel that like. being said, mm. I'm also not attached to any timeline. Right. Like right mm. now, I'm like, you know what? I'm pregnant. I'm never going to get to be with like a one-year-old. Like I'm going to spend so much time Mm. with this baby. I'm down to be Jennifer Coolidge Mm. and like Mm. kill it in 20 years and be like the funny mom. You know, that's fine. Thank you for saying I will. I'll take that. Maybe the brass ring. Like my husband's directing a movie that he he's done movies between it, but it's taken 10 years to get to. Right. And he's got three uh, Oscar winners in his movie. Wow. And it's taken 10, 10. Like no one, no one has seen the struggles and the sacrifices we've made as a, and the how many times has he fucking gone out and like scouted the area and spoken to people and how many like people have dropped out and finan- mm. fi- financiers and he's always built you know slowly and slowly and slowly and but he's never really see i i agree i feel like you have i feel like i haven't even started that's I haven't even started at all. And Dang. from my perspective, you have. And I Dang. feel like That's... I have not even, I feel like I'm a loser. What? Right? I'm a it's loser. A lie. And I, yeah. So my, my point so of what funny, I'm saying right? is like, it's a, like is there a brass, is there a top? Like, is there, mm. will, will my husband feel good enough after this film? Or is it going to be a Marvel film? And then mm. after a Marvel film, is it going to be something else? Yeah. I always is say there... if we're going to compare, mm. like, then we have to compare to every single person mm. on the planet. It's not really fair for me to be comparing myself to just Jennifer Aniston and right. and whoever. I don't know why I chose her, but she popped <laughs> she in. She loves you though. because she loves you. We yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, we, and so does Courtney Cox. We yeah. Yeah. But like <laughs> that's not fair yeah. to, to to compare to literally the t- there's only like a handful of mm-hmm. like people that have made it to that level. Mm-hmm. Most people 
do not have the opportunities mm. that we've had. So it's like really the only appropriate response is gratitude. So I try to just be like, I'm so right. like, it doesn't need to look, my dad's our screenwriter. Mm -hmm. He was, I was talking to him the other day. I was just like, I'm so proud of you. And he, he, the biggest thing he's done that, well, okay. He will say the biggest thing he's done is sold a script. Mm. And um, for an amount of money that was life changing because he was about to move us to Hawaii right before I was born or something like mm -hmm. that. And the fact that he got validated and sold a script was the biggest deal. Now, since then, he made Little Mermaid 2, Peter mm -hmm. Pan 2, mm -hmm. and like some animation stuff, mm -hmm. which is amazing, amazing that they that Disney chose to write. Mm -hmm. And in his mind, he's really now at 72 years old wrapping his head around of like, I'm a successful screenwriter. Mm. Think like that's that yeah. it doesn't you don't need to be mm -hmm. the yeah. oscar winner mm -hmm. and then you've that's too high of terms mm -hmm. like let's make the terms mm -hmm. a little like bit calibrate your expectations yeah. yeah so that we can we get to celebrate anything mm -hmm. like yeah. oh my god i'm above ground i'm so happy that's johnny really how do you feel about it i'm i'm, I'm with all that it's like celebrating yeah. the tiny wins every win just mm -hmm. being present to everything sounds very optimistic Right? I try to be, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's it's great. It's good to have that energy, yeah. You know, when you're a child actor, you're just constantly trying to get to the next thing, trying to be seen. And then it's like, then you have no job. And then you're like, no one gives a shit. And then you're on a big TV show. But then you're still not the lead of the show. And then it's something, you know, it's always, you're never fully satisfied in the thing that you're doing because it wasn't your ultimate dream. Like my mm -hmm. ultimate dream was to win an Oscar. I'm sure mm -hmm. it yeah, was, was all any <laughs> actors, right? Is to win an Oscar. And it's until you get that, point. you're chronically dissatisfied some aren't, but I think a lot of people in LA feel that way. A hundred percent. I don't, I'm from here. Mm -hmm. So I try to stay out of it and mm -hmm. not make those terms my terms. I also am aware of what I say. So I would definitely tell him to stop saying that yeah. and we're mm -hmm. going to switch it. And you're always so satisfied. Look how satisfied. I would literally retrain my brain to mm -hmm. just like always be satisfied. I'm, but here's what happened to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I don't do – so a little a – little, unfortunately, like it's like so great mm -hmm. because I do feel satisfied a lot of the time or I just feel like pretty peaceful in my life. And where's the drive? Where's the mm -hmm. hustle? Mm -hmm. So much of that hustle came Comes from like I got to prove yeah. it. I got to do it. And mm -hmm. I kind of have felt like I've plateaued a little bit because mm -hmm. I'm just like, well, I'm happy because I can see. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, no, this is, I'm can't, I'm gonna like fade away right. yeah. to just nothingness if I don't have a little bit of like yeah. ego yeah. to prove right. something. Like I'm somebody that's just kind of waits, for, like opportunities will come and when they come, I'll say yes. It's like, mm -hmm. no, he's like, no, make calls, Active. like put yourself mm -hmm. out there. Right. You could be making this, 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 this. And so like, I'm, that's where I'm trying to balance out of, and I'm kind of hoping the kid will do it. Yeah. It's like, okay, it's not about me. It's, it's about him and I mm -hmm. need to hustle or not hustle, but whatever the lighter term for hustle is, is like, I need I to work like harder. Hustle. You do like we it? Hustle a we lot. hustle. The I mean, only reason this show is where it is is, I mean, we still DM people directly to get oh, on yeah. that show. We don't wait That's for great. Anyone. No. Yeah. But like big people that end up coming on that I just, we just, Brought. Like we just, we <laughs> yeah. just, we're we like just annoy scrappy. them so like much as that by the end of yeah. it, they're like, "Final, come on the show." Yeah, we're I just, want some of that. Yeah, whatever that and is, I feel like I would be so much more successful right. to their friends. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care for that brief moment in time. I feel like we kind of lose our ego and we're like. Okay, yeah, we're scrapping. Well, yeah, you have shit. to put that aside right. in order to like take any sort of perceived rejection if they don't respond right. right away or whatever. But like that is really amazing. I admire that, and I want that. We're both well, a little scrappy. Yeah, I think we're both scrappy. I think we're we came from both. Both of us came from immigrants. Right, we both came as family then, of immigrants, and then we, you know, we saw our parents, you know, being mm, scrappy and yeah. hustling and making, you know, something of themselves. And I think that definitely, mm -hmm. you know, was passed on to us. But it is. I mean, what do you have to lose? Also? Also, like, who the fuck cares if somebody says no? Like, yeah. even if they do reject it, even if they laugh mm. at us and they're like, your fucking podcast sucks. It's like, they okay. never, they never say that. They never. Say, I don't even know what you're talking about. They're I'm like, top of the chart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you and I actually yeah. have the opposite issue where we was, we were like, I can say for myself, I was almost like, I was just very loved and coddled and I didn't mm. have to like try so hard mm. and i think that actually worked against me because mm. when things are just Fuck handed you. too easy and i don't mean like a ton of money right like yeah. i was said no to a lot and i wasn't i actually have a thing where i don't feel like i deserve stuff mm. because i was also said no to in mm. certain ways but um i feel like if there would have been a more like 
you got to do it. Or, you know, I watched my mom a lot be like, I don't know, maybe. Mm -hmm. So there was no, I didn't watch them be scrappy and like Mm -hmm. bust down doors to get what they needed, Mm -hmm. you know, like uh, that's such a good example. That's amazing that you had that because Mm -hmm. I think you and I both have had like such a strong Mm -hmm. fear of rejection. So we just won't ask because God Mm -hmm. for myself, Mm -hmm. I don't want to feel anyone say no to me because of what it'll do. And the times that they have, it's literally done nothing. Yeah. yeah. You don't even think I'm like, about oh, this is not later. bad yeah. at all. Yeah. 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 Not at all. You're over it, you know? It's- yeah. And it's never personal, actually. Mm-hmm. That's the mm-hmm. trick. That's what you have to do is separate out and mm-hmm. say, you know, it's not about me. It's about their situation. It's about yeah. what's going on. It they could be-, be have never done a podcast before yes. and they're terrified and they don't think they're enough to be. Who knows why they're saying no to whatever they're saying no to. Right. My strong desire mm-hmm. to prove people wrong is so high in me. And I don't know. I don't I don't think it's vindictive. I don't. I just can't wait to say I told you so. Oh. You just want to say fuck like, you to thank everybody. You. <laughs> I, I told you good, so. I love a good North Star. I feel like yeah. I was coddled and loved too much if okay. possible. Yeah. And it made this weird weird thing where I was such a, I was like my mother's, like she wanted me so bad and she had such a hard time conceiving me. Took 13 me. years to <gasps> conceive him, yeah. So like, wow. I'm like He's her gift. He's a miracle baby. Yeah. Are you, and you're the one, that's I'm right, one. yeah. I'm the only one. So it was mm-hmm. like, so like I was just so taken care of and mm-hmm. so loved and I'm, you're going to be the best, you're this, you're that. It was also and a lot of pressure. It's, yeah, it felt like a lot of pressure mm-hmm. and then I, I realized now I've realized early on I built masks to pretend I was all the things that I was supposed mm-hmm. to be. Right. And then later in life, I realized I didn't have the foundation behind so many of my masks. Mm. So I'm like this shining, just like look good, look as good as you can, look, mm-hmm. you always got to look good. And I had a man call me out. I was on like a men's team for mm. self-growth and they said, oh, you're a good looking motherfucker. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, it's someone that has like all the masks on. So they mm. look so good. And behind it, they're hiding all the discrepancies in the mm-hmm. fit and like the, the chinks in the armor. And I was like, fuck, that's so me. So then I've kind of like let a lot of it go and reset. Mm-hmm. And it's been so beautiful and powerful. But like that pressure for my whole life and being mm-hmm. competitive, but also yeah. thinking I'm always mm-hmm. supposed to be that mm-hmm. because I was told I was that. But mm-hmm. I'm really here and you have to own that you're over here. It's it's that was like a humbling thing for yeah. me. Man, it helped me so much self growth because all the work she's already done. Mm-hmm. So so do you guys go to therapy together? Have you guys done it together? We've no. done therapy together. Okay, how was we, it? We a few times. Uh, mm. That was great. It was great. He had never done any therapy before. That's what I'm saying. Like, he had, I think you have little T. Tra- I don't want to say you don't have trauma because <laughs> uh-huh. we all have trauma. Little T. But he had <laughs> little T trauma. And mine's like trauma. big T trauma. Yeah. Mm. So he was like, I love that. That was so great. I'm like, oh my God. You're supposed There's to a lot let of people your don't kids like- fail, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes. It's really good. Like, my kids always know that I love them. But you're supposed to put them out in situations that sometimes they will fail. Mm. And they have to learn from that. And I think sometimes like I was loved a, a lot in many ways. Um, my parents were like, but the problem is they always took me to school. Um, so I'd never caught a bus. And they always like made sure my clothes were like ironed and everything. So everything was always done for me. Mm. And then Same. I was on a TV show and then people would do, Same. yeah, then people oh would God. do things for me, right? Yes. And then when I, be- when I came to America, I didn't know how to fucking do anything. Like I would have panic attacks being alone. I didn't even know how to use a dishwasher. But, like it, I, Sometimes I still walk into a situation where there's mess. I don't even know where to begin mm. because it was always done for me. Yeah. So it's like super important for your kids. Like yeah. if they don't put their plates away, we put it on their beds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think it also it's depends like, on We don't like spill it on the bed. About, we just put it on like, the bed. Are you going to let – you can let your kids fail, but I think it's also individual about like their personality, right? If they're like – hypersensitive like there's different ways to kind of handle it you know i mean i think right it's it's because it's so like the thing about like being a parent would have come to like find out i kind of was like okay kind of one size fits all whatever at the beginning Mm. but then the more you get to know your own kids you're like oh my god like this shit isn't working and like maybe well maybe i'll try this like right it's fun it's like a always day by day like mm-hmm. you're just kind of winging it you know it's yeah. like yeah. right and so it's kind of individual i think i just lock them in a cage and just yeah there like, you go that's oh, it's a, lesson. That's a good way to do it and you ignore them in the car lock <laughs> yeah. Them yeah. In the cage. yeah trunk i'm just Let like the it's in the, trunk. then they're all the, gonna the come boom. after me <laughs> yeah and i'm like how are you feeling let's talk about your emotions <laughs> we so give each other therapy a lot oh okay that's what i thought you were originally asking and i was like yes we do do therapy with each other 
we're not normal all people. All the time. <laughs> yeah. So we need to like make sure that we're re- wearing the right hats because we wear a lot of hats with each other. Like mm-hmm. we're each other's therapist. We're each other's- Play partner. Playmate, lover, boyfriend, best friend. Yeah. Like there's just so many things that I think that's what makes it hard for a lot of couples. I'll say for us mm-hmm. included is like- we're saying we're like in baby talk and it's like well that's not sexy so yeah. okay if we're gonna want more sexy time we have to like be sexy, a, a li- be sexy. <laughs> how or do you f- talk sexy yeah mm-hmm. let's hear it hey hey manon hey get over here <laughs> oh, that was sexy. that's the mating call <laughs> that's, that's, that's it go lay down oh um <laughs> don't you notice that when your husband wants sex we've been we've been together we've been with yeah. husbands for so long they get kind of like so my we're in like super like child mm. mode like work mode, and then they kind of get a little like <laughs> I can't what it, it's kind of like this like thing like a that little they thing do. like a little tip, they, yeah they just kind of like, yeah I usually they just get, get super weird I like, usually like it's weird I usually get like playful. a text yeah, message just like, hey, a text and message I'm like, what are you from doing? the other room like hey you want to meet me in the bedroom and yeah two minutes Aww. is the kid watching a movie okay keep her in there yeah. because we're gonna meet up wow. there that's fun yeah i'm Which, so it's curious how it's gonna work with a kid that's a oh, thing yeah. you gotta set them up it's called yes. setting them up yes so you gotta give them the whatever it is ipad yeah. snacks whatever it is for however long for us it's it's only like a couple minutes of a show so <laughs> yeah. it's fine <laughs> yeah, you've told us a couple times now we're sorry <laughs> yeah we've, we've heard. we get it it's just a couple of it's like a few seconds of bluey um but no you gotta set them up i think that's what they say set them up mm-hmm You'll you'll be you'll get. What about when they're a baby? Hmm? Another baby? Is the baby? Is it okay to have the baby in the room? Uh, Probably. Is that weird? We're breaking a law because we do with the dog. The dog's on the corner. The dog's touching my knee. It's disgusting. It's a three way. It's a three way. You're gonna be so tired that I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about the first like few weeks (laughs) or first few months. I'm talking about like. I mean, say the first few weeks she'd be tired. I'm still fucking tired. Baby's in the crib. Baby's asleep. Baby's not gonna know what's going on. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's. Baby's 18. Baby's 18. Dad, I Baby's remember that one time. Baby's sitting in the crib. <laughs> I'm in therapy for it. <laughs> wow, you're smart. Yeah, I'm a big therapy ad. I mean, I, I, we didn't go to therapy. I don't want to be on fire and then go right. to therapy. Yeah, I want right. to like do any anything preventative. Mm. So yeah, it was enjoyable because we didn't. I thought it was funny because we were going and I I totally thought it was gonna he was gonna learn a lesson about him, <laughs> <laughs> and I had a huge lesson about me. It just turned on her, and I was like, <laughs> whoa, I didn't Ooh. know this. But it was really helpful because I was like, oh my god, I had no idea. This is like a huge blind yeah. spot of mine, and it was oh. about like being touched. Even though I love being touched, mm. is that your love language? I think so. Touch. Times a thousand. It's definitely oh, yours. Okay. I thought I always thought mine was like touch, but then it was I like I had memories of my childhood and like I don't know. I'm but then Turkish. I became more touchy. Yeah, touchy su- touchy. Mine's yeah. touch, but my husband's is acts of service. But when you're a child mm. actor, you get tons of acts of service, so I don't receive it. Yeah, no. mm. he I mean, uses language. Uh, like yeah, words, words of, affirmation, of affirmation, it doesn't really land. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know. Everyone really tells me that. Like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jennifer, what are you gonna say? Just tell them. But when he touches me, then I feel loved. Or like <laughs> gift giving, I'll cry. <laughs> Love gifties. That's so Love true. Gifties. Yeah, Jennifer Aniston tells She's like, me. I'm worthless. I'm like, um, is that the president dating you? Like, what is that? Everyone just says they love you. She's like, I'm pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> Six thousand DMs from everyone. Uh-huh. Yeah, it doesn't land. I don't know why the comments because like, they don't know you. Yeah, I feel like people but even can be when, entertained by you, but they don't really know your mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, but she's pretty authentic on social. media. She's yeah. pretty open. Like that's a peer that's into her life. But then they do actually know me. Is, the question <laughs> to you is, and you might. So I, I'm very vulnerable. But Glenn and Dole talks about it. We had her on our show, and she talks mm-hmm. about packaged vulnerability. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's like it's that's vulnerable. Right. It feels vulnerable. It's packaged in a way that you can handle it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And you feel safe to give it to other people. But is it real vulnerability? I had to sit and ask myself that question. Is this is this mm. real pain? Because my real pain, I don't know if I ever want to see that real stuff. Like, and I can talk about my eating disorder. Yeah, I can talk about my eating disorder the, all that stuff. Totally. It's, past, right? it's gone. To totally. make the boundary. Like, you don't have to show everything. I mean, yeah. I feel like you don't have to show everything. Yeah. Right? You feel, you show what you, you, you feel comfortable with. You don't have to do anything, yeah. yeah. Right? I de- yeah. How do you feel? Do you feel like you're 100% open or is it like more packaged? With who? Online? Just like online, yeah. Yeah. No, online I'm I'm not 100% open. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I, I think I could be though. If I mm. made a decision to be, sure. Mm-hmm. I think I can get there and I don't, I have so much experience of just starting the breaking down and mm. getting to the to that point pretty easily mm. i just yeah. haven't made a decision to do it online if that makes sense right. so you I, don't share i, I have packaged it package you don't share everything but what she shares she shares fully mm. right 
season. Okay. You can't beat that. <laughs> and on that note, guys, <laughs> thank you for coming to Women on Top. Yay. Thanks for thank having you for having you made us. It. You landed on Women on Top. Yeah. I'm so glad to meet you. I know. I know. In person. We've DM'd for a long time. You've been so helpful. Like anytime I'm going through something, you're like, here's what you're going to do. I know. I feel like it's really, <laughs> like, but I hate people like, like me. No, I, I love it. I, I'm like, no, I don't listen. want your fucking advice. <laughs> Fuck off. I love it because <laughs> you're really the only people that <laughs> do, do it. What? And I'm always like, Please okay. Stop. And then yeah. I take your, I take what, and I'm She's like, yeah, like, I'm like, you'll get your stuff back. It's yeah. annoying, but it'll, it'll, you'll get it back. Yeah. yeah. Right. And just to know I wasn't like alone doing it, but there's other things over the course of the last few mm. years where you're like, here, do this. I'm like, mm. okay. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll buy this book. Here, of the hormones. Oh yeah, there was like a hormone thing yeah. mm. that you, you were to talking buy the about. Book, though, 40, 40 days of. I sent you, I sent it to you. I don't okay. know if you saw it. You, it said scene, but you didn't respond. But um, it's the 40 days. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> you don't think resentment. <laughs> it's the 40 days of whatever, but it's after birth, there's 40 days that your body's really replenishing. Yeah, so I'm really scared. It's really important to have those that foods I, in that book. Yeah, we'll do it. He can make it for you. I'll what make it all. I feel like he'll be a really good partner for you for that. Mm. Mm-hmm. That is because kind of why I chose him. Mm. Not that, I mean, we were dating anyway, but like. Have you have to be really careful who you choose to be mm. the father. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I was yes. like, well, he's been a good father to me, so. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, daddy. Come here, sweetie. Daddy. Like, he's just literally Do like. you want to come over here? I <laughs> yeah. could just see him with like kids and like. So I excited. also thought about him like in the middle of the night with breastfeeding and stuff and I, he'll he'll just be up. Like he's not going to be someone that's just like no. not involved. I'm yeah. super invested in the kid. And I'm super I selfishly excited. want that, so. Yeah. At some point though, it's another tip. Fuck, I just all these Any tips. Tip, that's fine. You need to um sleep schedule like so he needs to go to bed first. Yeah. So he can go to bed at like 8 and know oh. that you'll be up at 12. And then you you'll be trying to stay up till cuz the baby's sometimes up the whole time uh, going to bed and then you'll pump. So then you can have 4 hour chunks of sleep. Yeah. If you can get 4 hours yeah every so often that would be you'll great. be fine. Yeah. It's when it's every hour and a half you just feel loopy and crazy. I remember I put my phone in the fridge for like days. I couldn't find it. <laughs> like, like, was it the peas, the frozen peas? <laughs> and then I invited, I remember all these people to the wrong address. <laughs> like 20 people to the house down the street. Because wow, a... you, you can't, I, oh, I left my car running. Oh, uh, that? yeah. that's cool. Well, I just time. took a, I just, I took a COVID test recently and I, I unconsciously did it. I stuck it in the Everything water reversed. and then I was like, oh, well, I'll just put it <laughs> in my nose. Your nose. <laughs> that's good. So I'm already baby brainy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was totally. negative. I mean, it was, uh, we'll see. It was a while ago. The water was negative. Yeah. <laughs> the water was negative. <laughs> No COVID? No. And the stick is up there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy. Shove it out. So I'm already like spacey and I'm I'm like, I can't even imagine having less sleep and then a baby and then all the things. So you'll be fine. And Women then the hormone the dip, time. I'm nervous as hell. Like, just three, no, uh, day be- three, you'll just be, blah, blah, and then you'll be fine. Just remember this. day three. You're going to power that. You're going to power through for got sure. It. We'll do our best. Mm-hmm. Where can people find you? Not that they were only fan. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> both on TikTok. Instagram, we're TikTok. both on Instagram. Man and Matthews. Johnny X Carlson. Um. <laughs> and your podcast. Yeah. Serious but funny. Love it. Uh, anything love else? That. I have a book. Remember that mm. that book I wrote a while yes. ago? <laughs> funny it. how She's it works. The out. Only person that made a book and like didn't Forgot. market. I didn't <laughs> She's like no promotion then, necessary. I didn't market it. it. I didn't do it. I didn't. I just. And then your TV mm. show that you're gonna do. Yeah, the, yes. the TV show. Look out for it. It'll be starring Man and Matthews. Um, it'll be a, like I'll get to travel the world yeah, and like have sex capades mm. and like find myself. And that's what the show's about. <laughs> He's like, Great. wait, what? Huh? It- <laughs> <laughs> sick. He's gonna be at home watching the baby, so it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah. perfect. Yeah. He's yeah. gonna be like, working that's, from that's the computer mom. with yeah. the baby, having sex, being but... that dude in France. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks so guys sweet. so much for listening. We are Women on Top Official on Instagram, <gasps> Women on Top Podcast on Facebook, Women on Top Official on TikTok, and Women on Top on YouTube. And I am, what's my name? I am Tammy Sursock. 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 Roxy Manning. And you were talking to? <gasps> Man and Manning. <laughs> and Johnny Johnelson. <laughs> and we are <gasps> Women, Women on Top! Top!